Hey vloggy. So it was raining all day today and pretty boring, but actually now the sun is starting to come out. But anyway, I just thought I would make a self-care video. So I'm just gonna take this eyelid tape off and then we will get started with making a DIY oat mask. And I'm probably gonna put it on my neck and on my entire face. So we'll see how that goes. Cause I, if you can tell, I have very like flaky skin, like uh, kind of like eczema type conditions on my neck. So maybe this mask will help, I don't know. I'm gonna put olive oil in it with um, steel cut oats that are blended into a powder and turmeric. Hopefully the turmeric doesn't stain my skin, but yeah, those are the ingredients I'm gonna try making into a mask. Okay, so now we are in the bathroom and I blended the steel cut oats together with the turmeric. I mean, some of it's not that fine. It still kind of looks like steel cut oats. <laughs> But, okay, so I added some olive oil, so I guess we're supposed to just mix that together. Okay, I don't know really how to apply this. I added a little bit of hot water, just a tiny bit. But I don't know how to apply this onto my face. Um, like this? How does it stay on your face though? That is the question. What am I doing? Oh no, it's falling everywhere. This is not working. I think it needs to be more of like a, more blended. Yeah, maybe I'll put this back in the blender. I feel like the consistency might be better now, but oh my God, the crumbs are still dropping off of my face onto like everywhere. Ugh, why are masks so messy? Okay, so, <sighs> What am I doing? Okay. Self-care, guys. This kind of feels good. Right. <laughs> um... <laughs> As you can tell, I've never made a DIY face mask before. I just like sort of thought that these ingredients would be good and I also looked it up and some people do have recipes for DIY face masks that have similar ingredients to this. So why isn't mine working? <laughs> I mean, it kind of, okay, maybe this is, this kind of works. This is so messy though. Is this how you're supposed to apply it? It's getting all in my hair. Okay. I mean, it feels good. Okay, now for my neck, even though it's making my bathroom a mess. It's just falling everywhere. Is it supposed to fall everywhere? I mean... I wanted to put it on the back of my neck too. How do I do that? I guess I just go for it. Maybe I should have sat in the bathtub to do this. <laughs> okay. It's getting all over my clothes. But we are going to change outfits today, too. That is a part of the self-care process. We're going to change outfits after I shower and rinse all this off. And then we're going to um, feel good about ourselves and do our nails. <laughs> that is the agenda for this video. <laughs> ah! It's all, like, falling everywhere. Maybe I should just take a oatmeal bath. I also heard that that's a thing. 
So I could also just put this in the bathtub and take a bath with it. It's supposed to help your skin, I think. So anyway, um, I don't know if you can see what's going on here. But, because I don't want to waste it. I still have a lot in the bowl. You see this bowl? Look, how do I pick up my camera when my hand is like this? Anyway, you're supposed to let it sit on your face and neck, I guess, for 10 to 15 minutes. I look like a yellow, um, I need to zoom out, wait a sec. I guess this is my thumbnail. I look just so, <laughs> I look like I have um, jaundice. Mm-hmm. Cool. I look like a maniac. <laughs> oh my God. Why is my face so red looking also? But anyway, it has been around 15 minutes, so I'm going to go into the shower now. And I still have some leftover oats mixture, as you can see. So I'm gonna try putting it on while I shower, I guess. This is why I'm not like the biggest frequent, you know, user of masks. It's because it's really dirty, like, and also because I don't have any masks. Like, I don't have any sheet masks or clay masks at home right now, so that's why I wanted to make a DIY one, because why not try making a DIY one? But yeah, it is pretty messy, but hopefully this will make me feel like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. <laughs> okay, see you after I shower. Oh my god. By the way, while I was waiting, I was watching some baby stoats. It was a video that I found on Douying, but I think it's from YouTube, the Dodo channel. It was a very cute video. I actually took a bath instead, and it's not really showing up that clearly on the camera. Maybe I'll adjust the saturation, but it's really green. Like, the water turned really green, my favorite color. So that was fun. And my skin and my neck, on my face and on my neck, does feel softer. There might still be some oats in my hair that I couldn't quite get because I didn't want to wash my hair today. So maybe next time if I do this again, I will do it on a day where I do want to wash my hair. But other than that, this was actually a not bad experience. I might do this again. I mean, it looked really scary at first with all that oatmeal on my face, but the result's pretty nice. I do feel like it's softer, my skin. Yeah. Oh, my hair is falling down. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the outfit that I chose. Um, Barbie pajama pants because I can't bear to not wear pajama pants for some reason. I just can't do it. And the top is a kind of a normal top, so. Yay! I got dressed. I'm not going to put on makeup, though. <laughs> Time to give myself a mani-patty, as you can see. The nails are looking not so great. Yes, that ring light from when I made the kitchen cheese video, kitcheny with Julie cheese video, is still there. It has not been moved. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do like white, blue, and pink. I think that'll be good on my fingers. And then on my toenails, I'm not sure yet. It'll be a surprise. idea I'm gonna stop recording for a sec and I'll come back and update you when I'm done my nails so these are the toenails so on the toes I used Tasmanian devil made me do it from OPI 
and it's not perfect. I, I colored outside of the lines on all my nails. See, the, the nails that I did on my fingernails, mm, I don't know. I thought this would turn out a lot better than it actually looks, or I don't know. I thought the idea, the concept of my fingernails would be better. Anyway, uh, so on my toenails is Tasmanian Devil Made Me Do It from OPI. Why does it never focus? And I also used this one, Leo. I have a lot of Leo placements. I have a Leo Stellium, and it's just called Leo. And it's from this brand that you can get at... This is a brand you can get at where? Um, what's that store called? <gasps> I don't remember. It's that store that has all the Melanie, Melanie Martinez stuff and... Mm, PacSun? I think it's PacSun or something. Or no, not PacSun. Ugh, I can't remember! It's been so long since I've been to the mall. What is that store called? I'll type it in here, I guess, when I figure it out. I can't think of it right now. It's been so long since I went shopping. On my fingernails, I've got this one, which is Coconuts. Okay, it's called Coconuts by Arden. Nailed it from Arden. And then I put on top of that is Pacifica Unicorn Horn. And then for the pink part, it is Daydreamer by Pacifica also. You can see the neighbors are, the neighbors are talking to their Alexa, I think. Okay, I tapped it. There we go. And um, the blue part is Blue Lace from Nicole OPI. Okay, yeah. And I put eyelid tape back on my eyelid because the crease is just not wanting to stay there. Um, wow, the lighting in my apartment is so yellow. Maybe I'll color adjust this. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that is it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me on my self-care for today. I think I succeeded. I mean, the nails, I thought this idea was gonna turn out a lot better than it did. Yeah, I mean, I tried. I'm not perfect at doing my nails, shocker. But it still feels good to have tried. So hopefully I'm looking better now. I had a glow up. The camera doesn't want to focus on me. Oh, there we go. I had a glow up. I had a DIY face mask that I did and I made for the very first time in my whole life. And I might try it again. I mean, the whole oatmeal thing was pretty fun. Uh, I can't even take the eyelid tape off because my nails I'm trying to let them dry anyway I'm probably gonna smother some Vaseline on my face now <laughs> and eventually I will make myself dinner tonight's menu is buckwheat noodles with peanut butter and soy sauce and chives and sesame seeds I think it's gonna be really good at least I think that's what I'm having today okay well, thanks for hanging out with me. Shots of chin, hones all. Jujubes, bye. Mm. So I'm back. The video is not over, it turns out, because as I was cooking my buckwheat noodles, I got a phone call and it was a parcel for me. So I'm gonna open this parcel on camera after I finish my noodles. So, as it turns out, I have received a parcel, and I'm practicing my British accent, but it's not very good. <laughs> anyway, I think it's just because I was watching a Tom Holland interview, and he has a British accent, so suddenly I feel like speaking in a British accent. Oh my god, it's so yellow! Is this better? No, it's not better. Okay, this will have to do, I guess. I think these are clothes that I ordered from Zoffel, and yes, I finally gave in to the temptation of ordering leisure clothing. So AKA, these are all sweatpants so that I can feel fun at home every day. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what it is. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, except this top is like a cute top. Okay, I have one cute top and the rest are sweat type things. So this is the cute little top. It's like a floral, I know. I used to not like floral, but I guess now I am a floral gal. But this is the, the top that I got. I will try these all on in a sec. It'll be a try on haul. Ooh. And I see people always wearing matching sets of sweatpants, so I'm like really interested in doing the same thing. So this is another set. It's purple and green, so Joyce's favorite color and my favorite color. It's got shorts. And they're shorts. It's got shorts and a hoodie with a pocket, a pocket to the front. So purple, Joyce's favorite, and green, my favorite. And then another set that I got was just green and it says California on it because I would love to visit or live in California someday. I've never been to California, but see. It just says this, California West Coast. West Coast represent. West Coast represent. Katy Perry song. And this bottom just also says California West Coast. And it's like a jogger type sweatpants type situation. I will try them on now. Disregard that huge bag of rice. I'm Asian. Um, anyway, so this is the look. We've got these shorts, and this is the top. I love it. I feel like this, I think you're supposed to be able to, the top, you're, it's kind of tight around here, so I think you're supposed to be able to like put it up if you want, if you have abs to show off, but I don't have abs yet. I'm working on it, <laughs> but yeah. I guess you can put this up higher if you want to show off the waist and then yeah so this is basically are you focusing on me this is the look yes cool nice okay so this is the lovely other set which is completely green it says california west coast on both sides and you can like pull this string i guess to make it like tight i don't know this string will probably like make me hook onto stuff like i'll just be walking and then oop, i am stuck to a tree but you know that's okay i still like this I'll figure some sort of way to make this string tuck in, I guess. Oh, my mommy's home. Mom, I got some clothes in the mail that I got. Oh, yeah. So, this is this. And I will have to do something about this part. I don't know yet, but I love it so far. So then there's this top. Um, it's actually a little see-through, so I put this other top underneath it. I'm not sure how exactly to wear this top since it's see-through. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so now I'm just wearing two tops. Um, I'm not sure if that's how I would wear it out. Yeah, I don't know how I'll style this since it's kind of see-through. Um, it's still pretty. I feel like it's in the style of For Love and Lemons. I feel like that's what they're going for. I have to think about this because <laughs> it looks a little bit weird with this top underneath it, but I just couldn't think of what else to put underneath it like right now. But Honestly, nothing is weird as long as you rock it. Like, if you rock it confidently, with confidence, you strut it, you will be, what is that Victoria Justice song? Uh, from Victorious, 
in my victory. Just remember me. Wait, no, no. Tomorrow you'll be everybody's fascination. Yes, if you just rock your clothing, you will be everybody's fascination. <laughs> okay, now I am back in the hood because I forgot to rock the hood and model the hood for you. This is how you will look with the hood up. Why aren't you focusing on my face ever? Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. Well, this is the hood. Very cute. Anyway, that's it for this video. We are finally finished. It's finally over. Bye guys. Mwah.